guys, Dr. Chris here with Mid-Atlantic Chiropractic. It's springtime, everybody knows that. The weather's warming up, everybody's getting more active, we're getting outside, we're hiking, biking, running. One of the most common conditions that we see in the springtime is plantar fasciitis. And that's basically inflammation of the plantar fascia um, on the bottom of your foot. And as a chiropractor, there's some treatments that we can do to help you through that and get you more active and get you back to doing the activities that you love. So, uh, obviously we can, we can adjust the, the foot. Not many people know we can adjust more than the spine, but we can adjust the feet, mobilize those joints to help improve range of motion, decrease pain. Um, there's also some exercises and stretches that we can do to help with the pain, the tightness, and inflammation in the bottom of that plantar fascia. So, you can refer to our, our next video that will help you improve that condition. Today we're going to be going over some exercises with my model, Kristen, for plantar fasciitis. The first one I'm going to take you through is to stretch the calf. So, Kristen, I'm going to have you put your hands up here, and you're just going to kick one leg back and lean forward. You want to keep that knee straight. So, this stretch is really good for the, the top portion of the calf, the gastro. Um, so with that, you want to make sure you're keeping your knee straight, heel on the ground, lean forward. You can hold this for about 15, 20 seconds and do that three times on both sides. So the next one's going to be pretty similar to this. All you're going to do is that same pose, but you're going to bend the knee. And this targets more of the lower calf, the soleus. Um, so again, you can hold that for 15, 20 seconds and repeat that three times on both sides. The next uh, stretch I'm going to have you do Again, it's similar to this, but this is focused more on that plantar fascia of the bottom of the foot. So, um, what you're going to do is, Kristen, um, you're going to pick your heel up off the ground, and you want your toes to be extended. And you're just going to push your, your weight back so there's a stretch in the bottom of your foot. So, you can go up on your toes more. Just like that. There we go. And you should feel the stretch all through here. Do you feel that? Good. And that's a really good stretch for the plantar fascia. The next thing, uh, we're going to work on strengthening the muscles around it, the calf, the plantar fascia. So, we'll start single leg. So, just like this. You want to find a nice st sturdy surface you can stabilize yourself on. You're just going to go up onto the, the ball of your toes. Back down. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Good. And that works on strengthening the calf muscles. Okay, so we'll do, we can do like three sets of ten both sides and that'll help improve the strength of your calf muscles. The next one I'm going to have you do is sit down here. This is a towel scrunch exercise, so this works on strengthening the plantar fascia and all the intrinsic muscles in the bottom of the foot. So what you're going to do is one foot is going to be on the towel, just the toes. The heel is going to be off the towel. You want to keep the heel on the ground. And what you're going to do is, you're going to scrunch your toes towards yourself and try to bring that arch up. So like this. Perfect. And then lift the foot up, back down, and keep scrunching the towel towards you. And you'll feel this in the bottom of that arch there. So really with this one, there's not really a repetition. It's more so um, just doing it until the towel is towards you. And to make this more challenging, if the towel is too light, you can actually add weight to the other end of the towel. So something simple like a water bottle is enough weight to make that more challenging. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to recommend is freezing a water bottle and then rolling your foot out. Rolling the bottom of your foot out. And you can do this after any kind of activity or when you're experiencing any discomfort. Just like that. So you can do that for three, three to five minutes and that will help decrease pain, inflammation, and get things loosened up there. When you have plantar fasciitis, we can do an evaluation of your foot to see if there's any uh, fallen arch or high arches. And another treatment option for that, we can provide orthotics, and they will be custom fit for your foot, so they can improve the arch and decrease the pain and help with the loading on that arch. Dr. Chris here, everybody take care. Thank you.